Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 517, and the topic today, because it is Halloween, October 31st, is is your relationship full of tricks or treats? Or is your relationship about tricks or treats? Anyway, I'll explain what I mean and give you some support, indications, guidance, questions shortly. Before I do that, let me choose myself and wishing you happy Halloween, by the way. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women, I say that again, I help strong, successful women attract and create balance in their love, life, and business. And today's topic, actually, before I get to that, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of my introduction. About two years ago, just under two years ago, I started doing these daily talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. That's why I'm now at number 517 because there's so much to talk about when it comes to love and relationships and about masculine and feminine, men and women. It's a, it's a very rich topic. So today's topic, since it is Halloween, is about um, trick or treat in a relationship. It's gonna be interesting to see how it comes out, but that's what came up with the title. I have no script, no plans, no bullet points, no cheat cards. It'll be what it'll be. So let's, let's jump in in a moment. Well, before I jump into that, let me just say, this is a Facebook Live in case you're watching it somewhere else. It does go Facebook Live first, so you can interact directly with me when it's live. And you can also add comments, questions in the replay. It also goes onto YouTube, and I can say, I'll tell you the links about this at the end, but it'll be on YouTube later on as well, so you can respond to comments and questions there. And also, if you're watching it, listening to it on my podcast, you can hear it there. Now, if you're interacting with me live, that's only gonna be on Facebook Live, in which case, any comments and questions you share here, I'll respond to. And if you're watching it on YouTube, you won't know what, who I'm talking to. So just, just some caveats, you know what's going on. All right, enough of the, Logistics, let's jump into the topic. So the question or the topic today being Halloween is, is your relationship filled with tricks or treats? And I'm gonna start with the treat side first because that's the fun stuff. And I'm gonna throw things on the table. And again, I have no scripts, I'm just feeling into where this is gonna go. So first of all, is your relationship one that is filled with joyful surprises about romance and, and love and, and um, enjoyment together? Because that would be the treat side, very obviously where your relationship is one where your partner is always going out of the way to surprise you with pleasant, exciting things, where it's flowers or chocolates or trips or just text messages, or you're doing the same for them, or ideally both doing to each other or for each other. These sort of things are what make a relationship really rock because the ro romance is not based upon, okay, when we get to get to go to bed together, then we'll have romance. Like, no, it's not about that. It's about the enjoyment of each other's company even when you're not together. And so the treat side, it's something a lot of people, to be honest, once they get into a relationship after a period of time, tend to forget about. They get comfortable, they get busy. They're working too hard, they've got time for this. And I would suggest that if you do that, you're gonna go down to the road that leads to the trick side, not the treat side. Let's, I'll speak to the trick side first, because I had a split, I had a fork in the road showing up on what I was gonna talk about for a second there. So, tricks. These are the things that aren't so much fun. These are things where you're gonna get a bad taste in your mouth in the relationship, so to speak, where you're gonna be in a relationship where your partner takes you for granted or doesn't go the way to help you, support you, entertain you, romance you, excite you, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Something coming up with that one. It's also where some of the negative stuff that shows up in a relationship, um, getting so focused on their own lives, whether it's addictions or um, distractions, cheating even. Those are the tricks I'm sort of hinting at, but I don't want to go that far down the road. I want to stay, on, I want to stay in the middle more ground where most people live, because not everybody goes through problems with cheating and stuff like that. But a lot of people get to the place where the relationships get boring or flatline or, or complacent. And that is really the place where relationships just stagnate and they don't have any fun anymore. So what I want to offer to you, just as a quick inspiration, actually, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I have a, um, an ebook I, I produced. It wasn't a product I sold, but I had it as a free gift, which is called Adventures in Romance, which is um, 120 something suggestions and ideas for romance in a relationship. So if you're, if you're dating or if you're in a relationship, this will be very useful to you. Um, I can't leave you hanging with that. I'll give you a link at the end of the comments where you can actually go get it. It's a free gift. You can just go get it. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> so that's just reviewing up those hundred and something. Yes, right, staying on track. So putting effort into your relationship, making time for your relationship, 
thinking about your relationship as a priority in your life. These three things will be putting it back in the treat column, as it were, versus the trick column, if you want to stack up the columns, so to speak. So things you can do for your partner, which you may have forgotten to do, because you've been together for six weeks or six months or six years, because everyone has their own gauge of when they get comfortable and relaxed, is to make plans for a first date with your partner. Yes, a first date after being together for a period of time. Have fun by exploring going out on a date where you pretend you don't know each other and explore each other new again. Why not? Because frankly, you're evolving and changing every day anyway. So if you've been together six years, it's likely you aren't the same person you were when you first went out. So the assumptions from when you first dated no longer apply. So why not go on a first date again? So these are some tricks, tips and ideas. Um, text messages during the day, just not text messages saying we bring the milk home, not that sort of thing. But text messages like thinking of you or I really loved how you smelled this morning before you went to work or, you know, those sort of things. They're, they're, they're not sex, not sexting. That's a whole other conversation. But they are informative and, and enticing and exciting. So there's a fun. Those, things, those sort of things are good. Um, I'm, try, I'm tempted to give you ones that aren't in the, in the book, but some of these are in the book about sending flowers um, when it's not the anniversary or birthday or holidays out of the blue to their office or if they're at home bring them home to them just because they're, it's like why not do that as a gift as a caring as a gesture if you love each other because love is not something you stop after you've been together for a while that's called ending relationship so make your love expressive Share things, insights, share your thoughts, your feelings, your, your presence, CE, not TS, with your partner. Do things that make them very, very um, thankful to be with you. How about that? <laughs> so the idea about this is really simple. My, my intention and my suggestion to you is to really to pick things that are things you can add to your relationship. Because for most people in a relationship, again, it's very easy to get into an assumptive place, which is where the tricks start showing up. But if you stay in the side of your treats, where you're treating your relationship as a priority, treating your partner as a priority, you do these little things that will actually help you um, get closer with your partner, help you enjoy your partner, and be enjoyed by your partner. These subtle things, and some of them quite blatant, obviously, will help you dramatically to improve the quality of your relationship. Again, I'll put the link in at the end. Uh, it's called Adventures in Romance, and it's a free, it's a free gift. It's an ebook I created from, I went online and found a bunch of different ideas for dating and romance that you can put together like on these, when you go out together. And I compiled it into a book. So since I didn't start with, I, I did all the formatting and made it pretty, but it's not my content, it's actually a, a web search. So I can't, I won't sell it because it's not, not my copyright. So it's a free gift on my website. I'll give you the link in the comments. You can sign up for it and just download it yourself. Um, and explore because there's I say 100 and something plus ideas from different ways to kiss different places to go have fun um, what else is in there there's a lot of different things in there too so there'll be a fun there'll be a benefit to you so having said all that there's one thing hanging out there what was that it's gone okay say la vie so you've got some ideas now and I would say walk down that road further of what I was suggesting because again, the treats, meaning the quality of relationship you have, can be up leveled by just remembering a partnership as a priority in your life any time of the day. Not just when you get home and you see each other, but every time of the day. Because it's worth having that investment of your energy in your life and your love to have fun with each other. Because don't you want to be in a relationship to have fun with each other? If you're not, you may need some guidance in that area. So I'm going to keep this one short again. Um, because I don't think there's more to say on this. It's a really straightforward topic. A couple of sidebars, by the way. Um, if you didn't catch last night's um, Gina and Barry Do uh, do It Live, which we did last night, that's on my wall as well for earlier on, which is a, um, that was about 35 minutes or something like that. We talked about dating and politics. That was a rich conversation. You might want to tune in for that one. That was last night we recorded. So it's on my wall from last night. Um, and that's about it, I think. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're going out socially tonight, having fun tonight, have fun, enjoy yourself, and be careful. Take care of yourself, priority, and uh, enjoy whatever Halloween festivities you choose to do, whether you go trick-or-treating, go out to, to costume parties, or you just stay home and just give out treats, or if you just ignore the whole thing. All up to you.
I'm going to go have some fun myself. I wish you a pleasant evening. Um, this is my daily talk, so I'll do this again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, I forgot to give you the links. The links for the replays, if you haven't watched this broadcast before, this is a Facebook Live goes out on my personal page first, and then I put it onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And then it goes out to my YouTube channel, which is like the rest of my social media, which is my name, Barry Selby. On YouTube, you can find me under the name Barry Selby, so subscribe to my channel. And then you can download, sorry, you can download. You can watch in the playlist, Messages for the Masculine, all my broadcasts as you want to. And third, on my podcast, which is now launched, which is basically replays of my Messages for the Masculine. So that's the playlist, that's the podcast on iTunes called Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe and download it there. Come in handy when you're driving or running or cycling or doing things you can't watch your phone and you want to listen, which you can do anywhere on YouTube, but you know, that works too. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, have fun. I mean, this, this is an interesting day. I, I, I have a whole perspective on Halloween, considering it's nothing like what Halloween is really about. But anyway, there's another topic. Have fun. I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time, as usual. And uh, that'll be episode number 518. Who knows what that'll be. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye.